We walk in silence down the corridor towards the elevator. As we wait, I peek up at him through my lashes and he looks out of the corner of his eyes down at me. I smile and his lips twitch. The elevator arrives and we step in. We're alone. Suddenly, for some inexplicable reason, possibly our proximity in such an enclosed space, the atmosphere between us changes, charged with an electric, exhilarating anticipation. My breathing alters, my heart races, his head turns fractionally towards me, his eyes dark as slate. I bite my lip. F*** the paperwork. He growls. He lunges at me, pushing me up against the wall of the elevator. Before I know it, he's got both of my hands in one of his, in a vice-like grip above my head. He's pinning me to the wall using his hips. Holy shit! His other hand grabs my hair and yanks down, bringing my face up and his lips are on mine. It's only just not painful. Oh, I moan in his mouth, giving his tongue an opening. He takes full advantage, his tongue expertly exploring my mouth. I have never been kissed like this. My tongue tentatively strokes his and joins in in a slow erotic dance that's all about touch and sensation or bump and grind. He brings his hand up to grasp my chin and holds me in place. I'm helpless. My hands pinned, my face held and his hips restraining me. His erection is against my belly. Oh my, he wants me. Christian Grey, Greek God wants me and I want him here, now, in the elevator. You are so sweet. He murmurs, each word a staccato. The elevator stops, the doors open and he pushes away from me in a blink of an eye, leaving me hanging. <sighs> Three men in business suits look at each other and smirk as they climb on board. My heart is racing through the roof. I feel like I've run an uphill race. I want to lean over and grasp my knees, but, but that would just be too obvious. I glance up at him. He looks so cool and calm, like he's been doing the Seattle Times crossword. How unfair. Is he totally unaffected by my presence? He glances at me out the corner of his eyes and he gently blows out a deep breath. <laughs> oh. He's affected all right, and my very small inner goddess sways in a gentle, victorious slumber. The businessman exit on the second floor. We have one more floor to travel. You brush your teeth. I used your toothbrush. His lips quirk up in a half smile. Oh, Anastasia Steele, what am I gonna do with you? The doors open at the first floor, and he takes my hand and pulls me out. What is it about elevators? He mutters, more to himself than to me, as he strides across the lobby. F*** the paperwork. He growls. He lunges at me. Cat, cat, cat. There he is. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> and holds me in place. Chupa, chupa, chupa. I just couldn't help myself. That's what he did. He's so sexy. He's so sexy, but you <laughs> and Willie just on the shot. Damn it, my fault. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no. You think this happens on Batman? <laughs>